Namaste and welcome to Sonali Joshi's Astrology channel. In this video, I'm going to address the question How can I know from a person's horoscope what are their views towards their life partner, their spouse, or their business partner? So, in this video, I'm going to share the indicators that will give you an idea about what a particular native thinks about their life partner and their business partner. To those of you who are new to astrology, 7th house in the horoscope is about our partnerships. The, for the first marriage, it is the 7th house. So 7th house, 7th lord, Venus, these are very important placements. They will give you a lot of idea about what one person thinks in terms of relationships. Venus governs two important houses in the horoscope and signs that is Taurus and Libra, second and seventh house. Second house is about our family lineage. That means these are our closest relationships. And seventh house is about marriage partnership as well as the business partnership. Taurus and Libra say the same thing. And hence, their owner Venus is also important. Venus Nakshatra, Venus House Placement and aspects on this Venus will tell you what a person is looking for or looks at relationships as such. For example, Venus in the very first Nakshatra Ashwini, Venus in the sign of Aries, it is in the Nakshatra of Ashwini or Seventh Lord in Ashwini. It means a person would look at the partner as somebody who is coming as a healer. They will heal them. Their presence will heal them. They will give them basic needs, but very quickly. The moment question is asked, the answer should come. That means you have to be always there for them and do the need full quickly. Quickness, being first, being the leader, being attentive, being physically active, being competitive and bringing the healing would be the qualities that a person would expect from the spouse. At the same time, what emotionally this person will look for or what would be the emotional fears or emotional criteria that the person applies towards relationship is seen from 7th house from moon. Because these are aware of emotions. How does this person perceive the life partner or a business partner emotionally? So look at the seven from moon, the planet placement, aspect on that planet and the nakshatra. For example, there is Venus, seven from moon and in the nakshatra of Ashwini. That means the person would really want the emotional bond to heal him or her. And at the same time, they can have internal fear about losing that person. Will that person go away from me either by cheating or just leaving or whatever it is because Ashwini has a tendency to quickly move on to something else. They start something and move on. They may not stay there and that could be the internal fear that native is bringing if this moon and Venus either of them have negative impact, maybe impact aspect from Saturn, maybe aspect from Mars or aspect from Rahu or Ketu. These are the emotional fears or emotions that will bring. On the other hand, if there is an aspect of Jupiter, then it will feel like, okay, the person is going somewhere, traveling, but they will come back and once they come back, I will feel more supported. Another important criteria for relationship is social value. We want our relationship to be socially accepted. We want to go out with our life partner, with our family. And this social acceptance is very important. This social acceptance should be seen seventh from sun. Or Venus and sun placement. If this Venus sun placement has six eight relationship, then the socially there will be always some awkwardness, some issues, some hurdles when you go out together. 
as husband wife on the other hand if son and venus are together then you may have ego battles because both of them are trying to share the equal space in social circle but in general remember seven from sun will show how you look at your relationship socially seven from moon emotionally and seven from venus is actual reality of your relationship why you are entering into the relationship so look at what is seven from venus always see the planet conjunctions planet planet placement in nakshatra and the mahadasha that is going on and hence you will find certain couples who are in love with each other respect each other during certain time frames and as the time frame changes you will see there are changes happening as such human beings evolve they change their likes dislikes change and hence there will be always some distance there are some arguments there will be something that you will have to work towards venus is about devotion and faith so you have to have faith in the relationship trust in the relationship venus exiles in the 12th house 12th house of faith pisces is a sign of faith and trust so do not break the trust of your partner do not break the trust of your spouse this is the responsibility that you accept when you get married or when you sign a contract or when you get into relationship even if you are dating somebody be open and honest about what you are going to do in the relationship venus is debilitated naturally in the 6th house 6th house is about criticizing somebody using harsh words taking away something not giving the equal importance all jealousy anger the negative emotions that human beings have they are from the 6th house and when we bring those negative emotions towards your life partner then and then the issues in the marriage or relationship start so if you are looking for person's attitude towards the relationship it is just not 7th house just not 7th lord just not venus or just the dara karka rather it is the combination of 7 from moon 7 from venus venus placement and 7 from sun because relationship is just not for yourself but it is a big in a big picture it is about your social aspect your emotional aspect your family aspect and what you are bringing on table and what you are looking for from the other partner in navamsha the placement of venus is also important seventh house is also important how you enter the matrimony with what thought what um emotions keeping in mind are you getting married just because it is the last resort you are getting married because you want to get married and get done with it or you are looking forward to marriage and you are looking forward to this spiritual relationship you will always seek the partner that is the most karmic one and seven houses are opposite to each other so there will be so many things that both of you may not like together but there will be something that is common that you share that you value and that you love find that common thing and use towards it emotional connection is very important so when you enter any relationship talk openly about what you expect from this relationship whether you are a man or woman entering relationship make sure you talk about it and then move forward keep your word be honest and have full faith in partner hope this video explains you how to look for a relationship expectation for a person and try to fulfill them the navamsha chart shows how you are going to fulfill it what kind of fruits you will get from this partnership but remember relationships are karmic and you are here in the person's life or the person is in your life to fulfill that karma and the karma can be good and bad both but trusting it is very important venus is known to be blind like one eye is closed it means you have to trust it have complete faith and that is why it is exalted 
in the sign of Pisces or 12th house where you trust somebody blindly and in turn it is the person's responsibility to make sure that they are valuing that trust and faith. If you have any such questions feel free to comment and I'll be more than happy to make a video about how to look at a person's chart or native's chart and find the indicators about that particular option. Namaste. Thank you. Shiva Mastu.